On example six, we've got uh, two x, y equals two over x, and x equals two for our boundaries. So let's see, y equals two x, we know that's a line with the slope of two. Two over x is a hyperbola like this, and x equals two is gonna be over here. So this is the area we're interested in. And just to kind of double check this, um, these two curves, 2 over x and 2x, uh, those meet right here, and this is right above 1. This is the line at x equals 2. And here's 3. So the other side of this, when we rotate it, is going to look like this. Now, it might be kind of difficult to visualize what the shell is going to look like here. So let's let's use the computer to do that. All right. So let's see. Up top we've got y equals. Well, it doesn't really matter which one we put on top or bottom. We've got two x and we've got two over x. And so there's a the little area that we want. I'll shade that in. Oop. I need to set the endpoints from one to two and then shade it in. There we go. And we want to rotate that around x equals 3. So there's our um, line of uh, rotation. If we rotate that around there, we get this thing that's shaped kind of like a space capsule or something. And so the different shells of this, turn the opacity down and look at the shells. Shells look like this. The innermost one is basically the sort of liner of the inside. The outermost is tiny, and in between they look like that. So let's go back to our drawing. I'm going to draw in one shell here in red. I'm going to draw the four sort of vertices of the thing. The shell looks like this. So the thickness is dx. And we've got to come up with the radius and the height. Now, I've said this before, but it bears repeating. Whenever you're drawing onto whenever you're drawing these uh, lines to try to figure out your radius and height, always draw them back to the original drawing. Don't draw them over here onto the um, onto the reflection part. Reason is, we've got nice formulas for what these points are. We don't have them over here. It would be possible to come up with them, but it's complicated. So let's do it this way. Let's see, this point here, its x-coordinate is x, and its y-coordinate is 2x. This point here, its x-coordinate is x, and its y-coordinate is 2 over x. And this point here, its x-coordinate is 3, and its y-coordinate, well, its y-coordinate is 2 over x, because it's the same y-coordinate as this point here. Now, if I wanted to, I could come up here for this point, too, although it's a little redundant once we've done this. But the, um, the coordinates of this point, the x-coordinate is going to be 3, and the y-coordinate is going to be 2x. So we can read off of here, the thickness is dx, height, the height is the difference in the y coordinates, so 2x minus 2 over x, or if we use these over here, 2x minus 2 over x, same thing. And the radius is the difference in the x coordinate of this point and this point. So it's going to be 3 minus x, and down here that would give you the same thing. All right, so the volume of this thing is going to be 2 pi integral radius height thickness. And let's see, our x coordinates on the original bit go from x equals 1 to x equals 2. So let's, let's work this out. When I multiply this out, 
let's see, I've got to, I've got to foil these guys. So the first gives me 6x. Outside gives me minus 6 over x. I'm going to write that as 6x to the minus 1. The inside gives me minus 2x squared. And the last gives me plus 2. So I get 2 pi. When I integrate this, 6x, that gives me 3x squared. Let's see, when I integrate this, uh, that gives me 6 natural log of x. When I integrate that, I get minus 2 thirds x cubed. When I integrate 2, I get uh, 2x. And we're going from 1 to 2. Alright, so we've got to plug both of these in. Okay, if I plug in the 2, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, compute these as I do them. Plug in the 2 here, you get uh, 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 6 ln 2. Let's see. 2 cubed is 8 times 2 is 16 over 3. And then 2 times 2 is 4. Then let's plug in the 1. You get 3 minus... Remember, natural log of 1 is 0, so six minus, or 3 minus 0 minus 2 thirds plus 2. All right, so I'm going to use my calculator to come up with this. Um, let's see, what do we have here? 12 minus 16 over, that helps to turn this on. 12 minus 16 over 3 plus 4. This gives me 32 over 3 minus 6 natural log 2. And let's see, this is 3 plus 2 minus 2 thirds is 13 over 3. So let's see, this is 2 pi, 32 over 3 minus. 13 over 3, then minus 2 pi times 6 ln 2. I'm doing this to get an exact answer. This is 40 pi over 3. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. 32 over 3 minus 13 over 3 equals 19 over 3 times 2. This is 38 pi over 3 minus 12 pi ln 2. Yeah. That's the answer I get. That's an exact answer, but it's ugly. Let's uh, get an approximation. 38 pi over 3 minus 12 pi ln 2. That gives me 13.66. Let's see how that compares to what the um, what the calculator gave us. Let's see this over here. 13.666. Nice. Well, you know it'll be interesting. Let's see the if we go to more decimal places. This is what I've got here. Let's put in say 250. Let's see what this gives us. 13.6625 compared to the 13.66247. So yeah, pretty good. That's kind of an ugly uh, calculation, but uh, anyway, that's the uh, volume of this thing. So I think we'll uh, stop here.